I do love this rat pedal, but I wonder what it would be like. And I wonder if I could just take part of the rat circuit, maybe like the EQ part, and just have a completely different distortion engine of a sort. Just kind of make it, you know, something a little bit different. So we have a rat here, and we also have the circuit that I created, which was just kind of an attempt to sort of get some of the qualities of the rat using some MOSFETs, trying to keep the EQ the same, so I'm kind of taking the circuit, kind of doing the same sort of thing, but just completely taking out the type of gain stages you would find in the rat. So it is a little different, but let's hear it. First of all, the rat. <laughs> And now, the breadboard circuit. So again, why do this? Well, one, because it's fun. And two, it's kind of a good exercise if you're into circuits, taking something that you know really well and just saying, how do I create a different recipe for this? And uh, I know this doesn't apply to everyone, but me being generally sort of a circuit nerd, that this is what I do for fun. So <laughs> it's a really good thing to try to take that type of circuit, the circuit that I love, the rat, and just kind of spin it different, make a, a different type of cake with some different type of, uh, you know, ingredients, but still make it something that can give uh, some respect to the original. Would this circuit become something that Wampo does? I don't know. I actually have thought about taking these circuits I do on these videos and maybe somehow securing it and just giving it to one of, the, one of you viewers. So if, if you're into something like that, make sure you comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And even if you have some thoughts on how I could keep everything together, because it might actually kind of come apart unless I put a bunch of glue around it or something. But anyways, hope you liked the video. We'll see you next time with a new one.